Good morning. I am just getting ready to go out and have a little fun today, but I wanted to unbox another little bougie luxury purchase with you before I got going and then show you why I got it. <clears throat> so I got a delivery yesterday and I know what it is and the box is actually huge for what it is but ta-da Chanel so let me back up a little bit I'm sitting here at my vanity getting ready I feel like that Oh, that mascara keeps like running under my eye. I'm gonna have to fix that. Okay, so inside the box it said Chanel. Little black envelope says Chanel on it as well. I believe this is my wrist. So inside the box it said Chanel. Little black envelope says Chanel on it as well. I believe this is my receipt. That's my receipt and my return label in this. So Got this box inside there. Grab the lid off. Inside there is another little note and sealed packaging. This is just a little note card. If I was gifting it, I can write this little stationery inside that one. So I've got there little double C wax seal here. I'm going to pull that apart. Get inside this tissue a little bit. And inside we have got the seraphia the way Toka did. A little pouch. A satiny pouch. Chanel is embossed. I don't know if you can see it. It's embossed in black on black. Inside here are just some samples they include with your order. So there's a little sample of cocoa and a sample of their number one uh, cream, face cream. But this is what I ordered. So that huge box was for a tube of lipstick. I, I just love the packaging. It's worth buying these bougie products today called Rouge Coco. It's the one that I bought and I bought it in, I think it's Carmen. Carmen. So if you go on their website, you can use your phone. Um, there's like an app in there where you can take a picture to determine the color red that you want or any color you're trying to match to something and it will tell you what color to get. But I got this gorgeous, like a deep red. And if you look closely on the actual tube of lipstick as well, Chanel is engraved into the lipstick. I don't know if you could see that on the camera, but it's just this gorgeous shade. Probably just got it on my nose. I was trying to see if it smelled like any waxy or anything like sometimes lipsticks do, but it does not. So. And then on the cap, there's the double C as well. So. I think on, it's very understated kind of. It looks very red in the camera to me, but in my little makeup mirror, it's not it's more like um, translucent kind of red or whatever. But you're probably really wondering, why did the girl spend so much money on a tube of lipstick when she's also the girl who constantly forgets to put on her lipstick? Always forget. Well, let me show you. 
Okay, well, ignore the mess in the garage, but this is the reason for the Chanel lipstick. Isn't she a beauty? Apparently, she's also Carmen Red, according to Chanel. But um, my dad and I got this car together for father-daughter, like, bonding. He enjoys working on them, and I enjoy driving them. So if you'll excuse me, I am going to put the top down and enjoy this warm day. And hello, I am meeting some gals for brunch this Sunday morning. It is gorgeous out, like 82, loving it. And I just thought I got here a few minutes early that I would hop on and say hello. I am wearing my new green dress from my Sheen haul and uh, each belt and stack of bracelets and I've got my H sandals on and all that and I'm down here in Columbiana at a place called Homestead. So they're supposed to have really good brunch. The last time I was ever here though was for a dinner. I met the same girls and um, took two hours to get waited on and get food. So hopefully service is better tonight. There was like a buffet band playing that night. So hopefully it's better today. I just thought I'd check in. And that is what it looks like down here. That's Homestead. And they've got the arches and there's some other little shops and things here. It's just a nice little build up thing. All right, hello, happy midweek. I just thought I would give you a little update on my seedlings. Um, I don't know, some of them look like they're getting really tall and lanky and got those extra buds on them. And some of them don't look like they're much bigger than they were before. These ones I'm showing you are supposed to be romaine lettuce. I did, however, lose a few. I lost actually almost this whole tray at the top here. Um, there's still some in that cell and a little guy in that cell. We had some frost. Um, they're still up in my office because we had some frost overnight <laughs> this week and um, I didn't get them back outside. Some are getting like lanky and tall and some I lost. I think I might have lost those ones because they're more up by the window. The same thing happened with the marigolds. Um, well, I don't know. These ones are like three down from the window and I think I'm losing them. Um, but like this guy is not looking so good and I lost that one. But they're like closer to the window. I don't know. Maybe my theory is not holding true because these are further from the window. And I lost these marigolds. Um, the bib lettuce, I still never did separate out. And I don't know. Some cells, again, I lost. And others, they're not really thriving so much. Maybe because there's too many in one. I don't know. But my pumpkin is sprouting like a bean pole. Um, this marigold tray here I kept just because I wasn't sure if I had pulled all the seedlings out, but nothing happened with it. So I don't think that um, I didn't like, I think I got them all out and they're up here, but I did lose some. And then my forget me nots, I never reseeded. And there's a few, quite a few coming up in here in this one cell, but the second cell of them, nothing ever happened. And then my daisies are coming up, but they're not very big for being like weeks later checking in with you. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. If you do garden, comment down below and let me know. Um, I brought them in, like I said, because of the frost, but then I think I lost those because of being by the window, but I don't know what accounts for these down here. So let me know, um, maybe I'm just still not gonna have the green thumb and I should stick with just grown mold. Um, I don't know, let me know in the comments down below if you have any pointers for me or I'm doing something wrong, but I'm trying to tend to them, make sure that they're moist, have water. The pumpkin seems to be happy, I don't know. It's going toward the window there, like for the sun, but other than that, it seems to be happy. Some of these seem to be happy, but I'm not sure when to pot them on again. So let me know down in the comments if you garden and know more than I do. Well, I'm sure you know more than I do. All right, thanks. I'll check in with you later. Okay, so we took our little adventure to come down to this 
Kinsley Market. I hope the inside's more impressive than this because I got to show you what I'm parked in front of. Like, I literally am in like some industrial rundown area. Like, I'm in the back hills of West Virginia and I'm not. I'm right outside of Pittsburgh though. Yeah. So this is what I'm parked in front of. I mean, like, like I drove a Cadillac into this dusty industrial, like, I, I don't even, I, I don't have words. And I'm apparently going in there. As you can see by the cliff, um, the little marketplace that I'm back from, it was a pleasant surprise once I was inside, completely different from what I drove up to. And that probably sounded very booty of me the way I was talking about it in the parking lot. But I seriously was worried when we first pulled up to that. I mean, it was like being in an actual construction site or something. It was just crazy in the building. From the outside was like it was kind of fall down or something. It was like that corrugated metal and there were like spots where it was open and stuff. But once inside, um, it actually was a very nice market and I would go again. Um, you know, it was in an industrial area. So it caught me off guard, really caught me off guard, but pleasantly surprised inside. Very nice market. It was called um, Kinsey Market. I'm not sure if that's the name of the building or not. And then actually, when I was talking to one of the vendors, they said that it's a wedding venue. I don't know. I mean, I guess once you were inside, I could see it, but I can't see having the wedding party traipsing around in that parking lot the way it was um, with their dresses and everything outside. So I don't know. I, it's not a place I would pick for a wedding venue, but I guess I could see it once I was inside. Um, but yeah, so I did pick up a couple of things while I was out and um, actually I picked this up yesterday. Um, I went to an open house at a place called Stone Trough in Salem and I forgot to vlog while I was there. So I'm sorry about that, but um, it's a little shop in Salem that's open on the weekends. It's there um, spring and summer. They close like at the end of the fall. They're not open in the winter, but I'll link them down below if you want to um, check that place out. But I picked this up while I was there. It's a candlestick holder. I just thought it looked real Tuscan, kind of got some distressing on it and things. I just liked the color. It's that green I've been gravitating toward. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um... At the market, though, I picked up, um, I almost thought I found my Martin house, but then on closer inspection, it was more like a, a 
log cabin kind of birdhouse and it just wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but I almost thought I found the Martin house. Um, but I did find a little treasure I picked up of all things there, a bottle of Aaron, and it was like super cheap compared to what these cost. It's the Mediterranean honeysuckle. Smells so good. So I picked that up. It was in one of the shabby chic booths um, in a display with the, uh, like a vanity type display thing. And then I also picked up, this wasn't actually at the market. This was um, after we made another stop in Pittsburgh on the way back home. Well, actually Robinson area. Um, and I picked up one of these um, like forever flowers in the box. And I'm going to work this into my Kentucky Derby decor that I'm working on this week. And I'll have that out next week, a tour for that for you. And it'll be part of the um, vlog of life last week for next week. But I'm going to work this into that. And then I think I'm going to display it after the Derby in my bedroom because of the colors. I just thought it was pretty. Usually they're in white boxes. So I liked the difference of it being the black box. But yeah, that is all I picked up. There was a lot of really nice finds there, but they just weren't what I was looking for. I'm still determined to find that Martin house and hold out for that. So that's where we're at. Um, so thank you for watching this week. I hope you had a wonderful week as well and a good week coming up. And I will see you next week. So again, thank you for watching and I'm still trying to grow. So if you could please hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate that as well. And I will see you next week. Thank you.